to the World Evangelical Alliance. Thank you, Mr. President. The World Evangelical Alliance welcomes the oral update of the High Commissioner and supports her observations and recommendations on Sri Lanka. In the wake of the Easter Sunday terror attacks, the government of Sri Lanka enacted several overbroad emergency regulations which have the serious potential to adversely affect the religious freedom of minorities. Further to the enactment of these regulations, Sri Lankan law enforcement officials have made multiple arrests on arbitrary grounds and with disregard to due process protocols. Furthermore, we are saddened by the developments which led to the pardon of Venerable Nyanasara Tero, a mere week after anti-Muslim riots ravaged the northwestern province of the country. Venerable Nyanasara has a history of antagonism against minorities and has been linked to similar situations of unrest in the past. In such a context, this pardon signifies an absolute disregard by the executive for the concern and safety of minority groups in Sri Lanka. We call on the government of Sri Lanka to avoid the repetition of the mistakes of the past, to actively protect and promote the status of minorities, and to ensure equality of all its citizens. And we re reiterate our support to the efforts of the Office of the High Commissioner to strengthen the rule of law and ensure respect for human rights in Sri Lanka. Thank you.